Welcome sa ating channel. We are here to talk about the shortage and is it now the right time to buy your PC components as of the last quarter of 2021. Now, yan po ang pag-uusapan natin featuring this build that we have here right now. Pero ipapasilip po lang sa inyo ang isa sa mga pinabuild po sa atin na Asus ROG Helios setup with a black and white scheme. Sorry if I can't feature this since uh, pinabuild lang po sa atin and we need to have it delivered as soon as possible. Now, let's go back to the topic. Is it really the right time to buy your PC components or to build your PC? For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Last quarter of 2021 is just the same as the last quarter of 2020. Ito po ngayon ang pinaka-perfect situation to buy your PC build or PC components. Why? Makikita po natin na yung mga video card pricing is quite improving. Recently, kahit pa paano, we have now spotted RTX 3070 below 45K and kahit pa paano, RTX 3060 at below 30K is staying consistent na mayroon na tayong mga options na hindi na po siya masyadong overpriced. Yes, it is at the SRP given the added tax and uh, the import fees. Now here in the Philippines, ito talaga yung pinaka-right pricing ng RTX 3060 at the same time with the RTX 3070. Pero ito nga po, if you are really planning to build your PC as soon as possible, I think this is the best or perfect time to do it. Dahil, if we look at the calendar, for the 2022, makikita po natin that the Chinese New Year is quite earlier than before. So kung i-compare natin po siya, last February 2021, medyo mas earlier po as of now and we will expect shortage. If we will look back on the date kung kailan nagkaroon ng sudden increase pagdating sa video card pricing, given the shortage na nangyari and there are cheap shortage na naging widespread, nagsimula po yan right after Chinese New Year. We experienced that since March to April 2021. So, ibig sabihin po, napakalaki ng impact ng Chinese New Year, especially that it is also observed in Hong Kong, Taiwan, uh, mainland China. Yan po yung mga, kumbaga, major location ng mga manufacturers worldwide. And if in case natigil lahat ng operations, shipments, and everything, automatically magkakaroon po siya ng direct impact, especially kung sa mga products na related sa technology. And one of those products are computers. Makikita po natin that if you will look back in the last quarter of 2020, RX 5700XT is available at around 24,000, 25,000, or up to 28,000, the most expensive Sapphire RX 5700XT Nitro. And may mabibili pa tayo back then. And except sa pricing, na kahit paano, very reasonable, makikita din natin na meron pa rin available stocks or we are not experiencing shortage until January or the first month of 2021. Pero right after the Chinese New Year, we are now struggling to look for stocks. That is very common and even before pandemic, na-experience na po natin yan. Pero naging mas malala lang yung situation dahil dinagdagan pa ng uh, pandemic situation, shortage of chip, and then uh, water shortage in Taiwan, and at the same time, the surge pagdating sa demand ng video cards dahil sa mining. Pero as we have stated before, GPU mining is all about the shortage or the price increase ng video card. Not totally um, across all of the components. Pero ayun nga po, I'm just giving you a warning. I'm not Nostradamus. Pero eto nga, if you really need a computer or you are planning to build your PC in the first quarter of 2022, I don't advise na papaabutin nyo pa ng 2022 to build your PC. Unless you are not planning to build your PC, or to buy components in the first quarter or second quarter of 2022, then you may just skip this news. Check all the stores across the Philippines. I believe there are now good stocks pagdating sa mga RTX 3060, 3070, 3080, and 3090. Medyo may konting struggle lang pagdating sa mga processor, 
Pero kahit pa paano, on both AMD and NVIDIA video cards, especially AMD video cards, meron na tayong mas better options at the same time, there are now more competitive pricing that is rolling out in the market. And I may also add this tip na if the GTX 1660 Super is priced at a 25K or more or less, then try to think twice or check more reviews about the RX 6600 and 6600 XT. I think there are better uh, uh, options pagdating dito sa mga ganitong video card, especially that recently lang sila na-release. If at a price point of 25K more or less, I know that these video card are quite reviewed, uh, not so good or not so recommended. Pero if your other option is a GTX 1660 Super, I think this RX 6600 and 6600 XT are better options. Just check reviews comparing this video card and uh, I believe that there are some reviews showing this RX 6600 XT or 6600 almost on par sa RTX 3060. Just recommendation lang po, especially that the pricing of 1660 Super is at around 25K more or less. Pero kung siguro nasa 20K siya, or even lower, then maybe you may reconsider going for GTX 1660 Super or 1660, depende na lang po sa inyong budget. As of now, GTX 1650 is still the go-to video card pagdating sa budget at around pricing of 14K more or less. I think there are now more stores rolling out their pricing at that kind of range. That's it for now. Disclaimer lang po, this is just a speculation pero based lang po din siya sa ating history or based lang po din siya sa ating situation last year and based on different situations that we have also encountered before even in 2016, 2017, 2018 before pandemic that every Chinese New Year something may happen and that is shortage or sudden price increase. Now for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.